Hi, in this video we're just going to have a quick explore on the planner um, and the kind of things that you can uh, put into your planner um, when you're using iDocio. So um, I'm going to start by, I'm just going to go into my year 11 um, lesson on um, Monday morning. And in here I'm going to um, have a think about what I'm going to do. So let's say I'm doing, uh, I'm going to be doing Pythagoras' theorem, so I'll put in Pythagoras' theorem and um, my starter so over here I can put in starter and that's going to be um, squares and roots and bingo okay um, and, and I can continue now um, the other thing that I can do is, is if I wanted to I could I could take a word and I can highlight it in red or, or bold etc so I can I could um, make it look how, how I'd like it to look. What I'm going to do now though is I'm going to explore some of these things up here. So uh, first of all, this icon here, if I click on that, um, that means that I can add a particular icon to um, this particular cell in my, uh, in my gradebook. So um, the, the kind of thing that I find useful here is that if I know that I'm going to be setting homework in that lesson, um, I might click on that icon there. Um, so now if I click on done, I can see quite visually now that in this lesson I need to set some homework, um, etc. So you, 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 know, you can use those symbols in, in a way um, that's going to make things nice and visual for you. Okay, um, over here, if you look at the paperclip, um, there's lots of things that you can do here. Um, you can take a picture so any any picture that you take with your iPad will be assigned to this particular cell in in your uh, in your planner. So when you go to this cell, that picture um, will come up. So for example, um, I'll show you very quickly. So I'm going to click on take picture, and it may be that this paper clip is something that I'm going to need for my lesson. So I'll take a quick picture of that. Uh, click on use photo down here. And, and now that will be within the cell. And this, this um, icon um, down here now tells me that, that's going, that, that this, this particular cell has an attachment. And if I click on that, I can see the picture of my paperclip. Now, why this might be useful, it may be that you've written out some notes for a lesson. Um, it may be that you're doing something quite, um, quite long-winded in an A-level lesson, um, and you've had to um, pre-prepare some um, notes for that. Um, and, and what I tend to do in that situation is I just take a snapshot of those notes so I don't have to muck around having paper on me or anything like that. Um, that's just going to be there and, um, and I can click on it as and when I need to refer to it. So quite a useful tool that. Um, clicking back up here on, on the paper clip again, um, I can see that I've got other options as, as well. I can record a video, so it may be that I want to um, record something that I might want to show in a lesson um, or I might want to refer to myself in terms of my planning, an audio recording. Now about that, you can audio record your lesson plan if you wanted to. That could be something that you want to do. I can add a photo straight from my um, iPad uh, um, photo um, library. Um, I can add a um, written note if I wanted to. So over here, I can um, you know, just remind myself that a squared plus b squared equals c squared for this particular lesson in case I, f in case I forget that. Um, so um, you know, th 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 there's lots of things um, that you can do. And again, if I click on my paperclip there, it will keep everything that I've done. So I can refer to any of those things. If I click back on over here again, I'll have that picture straight up there for me. Okay, so um, so I find that um, quite a powerful um, tool. And, and uh, remember, anything that you add will just be assigned to this particular cell um, in, in, in your planner. I'm just gonna click on done. Um, and I've, um, I could see that I've got my period one uh, put in over here. Now it may be that um, I've been told that that lesson's been canceled. Um, and um, I'm actually not going to be able to teach that lesson here, um, which means that, well, I, I, I would need to delete this really, wouldn't I? Um, and then re-put it in over here. But this is another useful feature. If I click back on here, um, and I've been told that that lesson's been canceled, this menu over here, 
um, if I click on bump what will that will do that will bump that lesson to the next available lesson so if I click on bump now what that's done is it's taken it out of this Monday's lesson and it's put it into the next lesson that I see them on a Tuesday afternoon and I can bump it into that and I could bump it again if I wanted to um, and I could, I could even bump it back if I wanted to do so if I click on that and I'm going to go to bump back and that will overwrite the previous day lesson which I want um, and there you go and and in fact what, one thing I should mention when you bump it will bump anything that was in here so if I bump this lesson anything that was in here will bump here and anything that was in here will bump here so it will just bump all of your lessons um, along I don't need to worry about that at the moment because I've not planned um, the next lesson along Okay, um, so that's just a quick overview of the kind of things that you can do within your planner. There, there's probably lots, lots more um, for you to explore, um, but I hope you found that useful. Um, if you've got any questions, then please get in touch. Uh, and thanks very much for joining me. I'll see you next time.